rectangular fish pond is two-thirds meters wide. If its area is four-sevenths meters squared, what is the length of the fish pond? You can see here I've drawn our situation of the fish pond, and it might be a little confusing to think of this problem because typically we don't think of fractional areas, right? They do exist, but we just don't really think of that when we think of area. So let's take for a minute the strategy of using a different number. So a lot of times when I'm confused on a word problem and it's using fractions, I like to just take the exact same word problem but put in some whole numbers. So let's give it a shot. So instead, let's think of a fish pond where I have a width of two meters and an area of, let's just say, six meters squared. So I need to think about how would I find the length? Now right away I'm thinking area I know is length times width. So I see that I've got a width here, but what I don't know is the length. However, they give me the actual area. So if I'm thinking of this in terms of area is length times width, I can think that six is two times the length, right? Because two is our width in this case. I know that I can guess what number is gonna be multiplied by two in order to get that uh, six, and I know that three has to be the length. Now I can think of this even a little bit further. If you're used to dealing with equations, I can solve for that length. So I can divide both sides by two and end up that three is my length. Okay, now let's go back to our trickier question with the fractions. We're gonna do the exact same thing, but this time, instead of saying that our area is six meters square, squared, it is four sevenths meters squared. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. And then I know that I have, instead of my width being two in this case, I know that it's going to be two thirds times the length. So I know that the width times the length is going to give me an area of four sevenths. So now what I need to do is I need to divide this. So I'm going to take four sevenths and I'm going to divide by two thirds. Now there's two different ways that you can actually divide fractions. One way is to multiply by the reciprocal. A lot of people are used to that. I'll show you that way first. So we can multiply times three halves. I get 12 fourteenths. Then I can divide by two, divide by two, and I'm going to get six sevenths for the length. There's another way actually though to divide fractions. You can get common denominators. So if I go back down here, I have seven and three. I know that I can get a common denominator of 21. So I'm going to multiply by three to both the numerator and denominator and get 12 over 21 divided by, and then I need to multiply this fraction by seven over seven. Remember, I can do that because I'm only multiplying by one and I'm going to get 14 over 21. Once I have common denominators, I can actually just divide straight across. So I have 12 divided by 14 over 21 divided by 21. Well, I know that 21 divided by 21 is one. 12 divided by 14 would be 12 fourteenths, which I know I can reduce down to six sevenths by dividing by two on both the top and the bottom and I still end up with six sevenths. So my length for my fish pond needs to be six sevenths meters long. I hope you found this video helpful.